Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Uh, it's me, Joanna. <laughs> um, I decided late last night after I had a, uh, uh, basically a video party with Emily, um, who is the, the artist who did this cute, wonderful image. Um, it's called The Hat. And if you ever want to um, get it for yourself, you can order it on Etsy. She has a store now, Emily Illustrator. And um, anyway, so uh, I didn't do this at all last night. She was live streaming and we were goofing off so bad. Um, I got no coloring done no nothing done we just we just kind of mouthed off anyway um but i was i had so much fun and so emily thank you thank you for uh for being you and for being so cute and so funny and uh we were talking about you know movies and all the weird things we've done in our life and I've been an extra in a couple of movies, and uh, one of the one of the movies was um, it was a really weird movie. It was supposed to be sort of like a uh, uh, what do you call it? Like um, uh, a rendition of you know Kate and Leonardo getting back together. It was called Revolutionary Road. Um, Anyway, we we all dressed in 50s garb, and it was in Connecticut, a beautiful location. Matter of fact, I took a picture of a house down the street there because I said, if I ever, if I ever win the lottery, whoever's in this house is getting bought out. I mean it. It is just this big, fat, gingerbread, beautiful, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, Anyway, um, the whole town is beautiful, but, um, yeah, we were, we were talking about that and, you know, reminiscing and I was going through some of my old pictures. I have a picture of Kate and I, she looks fabulous. I look like a cow. I look like a 50 year old fat cow. I hate that picture. Um, but, uh, Anyway, um, so I'm trying to finish up the hat today because I got to get back to this guy, my, my mission in life. My project is to finish this book and I am so close. I'm, I'm really, I'm more than halfway and then the, um, there's several, several images that are kind of like half done and not all the way done. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, to get them finished. Um, I'd love to tell you I'm pencil loyal in this image, but I'm not. I have I have Faber Castells, I have Polys, I have Faber Castell, the the gold stars, and of course, Black Widows are definitely you know, making a, making an appearance because I love the colors so much. Um, but, uh, yeah, we were having this big discussion about pencils and by the way, I heard about this whole thing on, um, ordering the Orion star pencils. You order a 72 set for $25 and several people are getting, are you ready for this? It comes with a case, a pencil case. And um, they're getting the pencils, and the pencils are actually Prism, Prismacolor uh, premieres. Now, I don't know if they're maybe um, factory rejects or something. Uh, so I'm not really sure of the quality of the pencils. But if you can get your hands on 72 Prismacolors, and if they're in good shape, 
Uh, they're on Amazon right now. I don't know. Maybe the company just couldn't produce enough of their own pencils. And maybe they bought them and said, well, we'll just shoot these out. Who's going to complain, right? Um, <clears throat> I am going to bite the bullet. I'm going to go ahead and order a set because <laughs> I love Prismacolors. But, you know, they are... They are 80, 90, 100 or more for a full set. And um, 72 colors is quite a lot. Now, I don't know what colors they are. Um, you know, but uh, from, what, from what I saw on her video online, they looked really good. Um, I'm putting yellow down on these leaves just so that they'll pick up with all the other colors I'm going to put on them and the hat <clears throat> um I got kind of a base coat working on the hat but I'm not finished with it yet so we'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens to her I'm uh <laughs> I'm so fickle about coloring these these things you know I I, I never really know where we're going to go with them. But the nice thing about doing autumn leaves is you really can't mess them up because autumn leaves are always a million different colors. You know, they have plums and oranges and yellows and browns and a million different colors. So even if you think you're making a mistake, you might not be. But, uh, Anyway, I don't claim to be anybody's art teacher. There's no way. But I have learned so much from my girls. And then this morning, when I should have been throwing George in the tub, um, because I have to get John to help me, because George is just, he got so big. I mean, I really, I'm, I'm pretty sure he gained... 20 or 30 pounds when I was in the hospital that dog got big and Fiona did too anyway um I can't really pick him up anyway even if he weren't big because you know I still have to be careful I still have abdominal stitch marks that don't need to get ripped up right now uh but I'm doing so much better. You know, I just, just can't pick up heavy stuff. And he is heavy stuff. And, um... I gotta get the big fat tub of love in the bath. It's gonna be fun. And he is... Well, I, I think it's pretty much... <clears throat> safe to say that... Um... Very, very few Great Pyrenees are actually water dogs. They actually look at other dogs and smirk at them and call them morons in other words that um, in dog or English language aren't very nice. And, uh, you know, like look at the idiot. Look at the idiot getting in the water without even being told to. Like, just jumps right in. What's wrong with him? But, <clears throat> yeah. Great preys hate water. And they really hate baths. But, it has to happen because he's a big hot mess. And we all know how much hair they have. So, so it's definitely... Um, uh, this is my little baby eraser, and I use it for blending. And when I want to, like, feather things out. Because in the Wild Soul book, I am really doing a lot of hair. If I don't know how to do hair by the time I'm done with this book, I haven't done it right. Um, I love it. If, you, if you're real gentle with it and just tap it. You don't have to, um, you won't, you won't erase the color. You just kind of soften those little edges. If you know what I mean. 
There you go. And the orange is just a layer. I'm, I'm coming back with red and purple and plum. And I need these leaves to be, you know, fun and autumny. Anyway, uh, how are you guys doing today? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's all right. And um, if you're not all right, <clears throat> If you're feeling overwhelmed about the temperature of the the world right now and 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 all the anger and all the frustration and all the sickness and the fear just turn it all off for a little bit, you know? And turn off the damn news. Oh my god. It's like sometimes you just need to take a break. I promise you. Nothing will happen in the world that you won't hear about eventually. Just turn it off for a little while and get your head out of it because <clears throat> as human beings, we're all kind of on a on an anti-human diet, really. You know, I mean, everybody's talking about the quarantine 15. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that, you know, can't just go walk by to the grocery store and hug our friends when we see them. We have to air hug. What the hell is an air hug? Right? Anyway, okay. Well, I'm going to keep it short today. Um, I just wanted to do a quick pop in and let you see that the hat is getting done. Little by little by little by little. And uh, not bore you to tears. And, um, wish you all, I wish you peace. I, I, I hope and I wish that something kind finds its way to you today. Anyway, shine on people and I will see you soon. Bye.